Okay, last part of the chapter, 9.8, uh, linear quadratic cubic. Linear is the aromatic, so you can see these are all aromatic, but the linear, linear is what we did in 9.123, you know, around that section, where there's a A and there's a constant difference. Now, quadratic, what we got to do for that, so the example I've given in the book, 7, 17, 31, 49, 71. So, first difference. That's the difference between each number. It's variable. So, if the first difference is linear, it's, it's arithmetic. Um, now, the second difference is 4, 4, 4. So, that's the first difference. This is the second difference. The second difference is constant. So, therefore, it's quadratic. Yep, every single quadratic that you're going to deal with is t of n equals to a n squared plus b n plus c. Okay, so every single time, there's not an exception to this ever. 2a equals second difference. So this works out really easy. 2a equals to 4, a equals to 2. Sub it in t of n equals 2n squared plus bn plus c. Obviously, we want to find t of n. Once we've got that, we can work out everything. They're not going to give you s of n for this. They're not going to say s of 20 for a quadratic. It's beyond the leaving search. So, t of 1 is 7. So, 2 by 7 squared plus b by 7 plus c. t of 1, or oh, sorry, it's 1 there because n is 1 and t of 1 is 7. So that's 2 by 1 squared, 2 plus b plus c. So therefore, b plus c equals to 5. This is the start of a simultaneous equation. t of 2 is 2 n squared, which is 2 squared plus b by 2 plus c that is 4, that's 8. t of 2 is 17. 2b plus c, that is 9. Okay, so that's 9, um, is 2b plus c. Now, at this point, simultaneous equation, you've got to be able to work these out. Yeah, you can find out the answer for b and c. So, that's really straightforward. And it's explained on page 355. Everybody can do a simultaneous equation at this stage. If you can't, I'm worried. I'm very worried. Now, what if it's the third difference? This is long. And whenever anything is long, it's great. Because lots of marks for following a procedure. Okay, first difference. 14, 38, 74. 1, 2, 2. Second difference. 24, 36, 48. Third difference is 12. 12. Okay? So the third difference is constant, hence it's cubic. T of n is a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. Now anybody... Half a brain here is going to find out. We're going to do something similar to find out what a is. Yet yeah, the rule says 6a equals the third difference. So a equals to 2. Always fill in what we know. So, how many unknowns do we have? We've got b, we got c, we got d. Okay? If I was to fill that in, t of 1. That would go 2 by 1 by b by 1 by c by 1 by d. That's t of 1. t of 1 is minus 1. That's 2 plus b plus c plus d. That's going to be, bring that over, minus 3. b plus c plus d. Now, if I solve in the same values for, our, for t of 2, so that means that on 2 in here, 2 in here, 2 in here, 2 in here, it's all going to work out 
uh, this is done, this is example one in your book. That's all gonna work out is 4b plus 2c plus d equals to minus three. And then if I do it for t of three, that all works out at 9b plus 3c plus d equals to minus three. Now, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three. This brings us right back to algebra when we had x, y, that's not x, as I said, x, y, z. Yeah, so we label that a, b, c. And we just cancel the d's out. Match this one with this, cancel the d's out. Yeah, then we're left with, so if I was to do this here, so I'll just show you in the beginning to get down to the simultaneous equation. We'll go a and then minus b. Or we'd say plus b minus a. Um, that would go minus b minus c minus d equals to 3. And the b is 4b plus 2c plus d equals to minus 3. Oh, they cancel. That's 0. They cancel. That's c. That's 3b. That's the first one. If you equate them... For if you do B and C together as well, then you're going to be left with a simultaneous, equ a simultaneous equation with this and that one, and then you've got to cancel them out. You'll find out B, then you'll find out C, then sub it back in, and you'll find out what D is. And then you will ultimately find out what T of N is. Really, 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 really straightforward. Now, the last thing is <coughs> example uh, two, mosaics, arrangements, constructed, blah, blah, normal sequence, sequence one, two, three. Second difference equals to that. That's what we've done already. It's all about, you've got to break it down. It's all about finding T of M. The second you find, so you're going to attack each one of these questions as follows. Here's the, the, the thought process behind this. You're going to look in the beginning to see is it A and D? If it is, it's linear, it's arithmetic. Okay? Just any question. Then, second one, you're going to check is A and or. If it is, it's geometric. Okay? Fine. Done. If it's not either of those, then you're going, right, second difference. If it's that, it's quadratic. Third difference is constant, then it's cubic. And then, if it's not any of those, it's one of our weird ones from 9.7, where it's just a random sequence. If I said 1, 2, 5, 15, 18, whatever. It's just a sequence that's got no order to it whatsoever. It's got, it's got some number pattern, but it doesn't have a, a sequence to it. Um, or a recurrent sequence. Um, that's it. The work that I want you to do. It's simple. Page three five seven, and I want you to do question one two eight, but over two days. Okay, good work.